Welcome back. We got another trailer in today. We've got this flatbed tilt deck. It's a 20 foot, so four foot stationary, 16 foot tilt, 20 total feet. It needs these wheel, wheel wells replaced or fenders replaced, depending on how you want to call it. So I have these fenders here. They need the backer welded onto them and cut out to the right shape. And then we have this gusset. This is the passenger side. We have this gusset and that gusset's fine. But on the driver's side, we're missing the front gusset on that side. So I have material to build a gusset. So first thing that I need to do is up here, there's still remnants of the old felled fender on there. So I got to get all this cut off. I'll probably do it with a cutting torch, oxypropane. And that needs cut off on the three remaining gussets. And then I can clean up this edge right here so I can weld to that. Um, the next thing I'll do is I'll cut these backers for the fenders, cut them out to the right shape because these are just rectangular and they need to be trapezoidal like the fender. Tragedy is struck for reasons I don't have my tripod here. So let's talk about this. This will be the top. I'm going to draw a line quarter inch down across the entire top. That way I can bring this fender in, set it on that top, line it up that line. I know I've got a quarter inch overlap and then I can trace out that curvature for both sides here and her. So I get this line drawn here, quarter inch cross top, match that up, center the fender on this piece here. And then after that, I can get everything traced down, get it cut out the, probably the grinder with the skinny wheel. So this plate is the gusset that's going to go against the fender. To get it to fit, I've got to cut out this angle because it's going to be diagonal. If this is the fender which is not sitting vertical, it's going to go this way. And so I've got to cut that line and that line and make that a diagonal gusset. So let's get those cut. Beautiful. There's one fender well done. That's actually number two. Number one's right there. So and then this gusset piece, that gusset piece will end up going something like that. I'm going to have to cut a little bit of a taper on that side so that I can close this gap. But it'll sit something like so. Day two, we're still working on the tilt deck trailer. Getting the fenders on. I got them built yesterday. Originally, I was going to use the cutting torch to cut these off, but looking at it it's only welded up one side so i'm gonna get the skinny wheel on the six inch grinder clean that up cut along right here get that piece off then i have the same on both those two gussets so i think i should be able to zip those off pretty quick with the grinder maybe use a chisel and a hammer real quick and it won't be too bad So that took exactly six minutes. On to the next two. So the fender's in place, not the right height. You can see that there's still a gap here and there. I'm gonna get some two by four blocks and space it up just so the blocks on top of the tires until I close this gap and this gap. And then I'll use clamps to pull it back tight against the trailer frame. 
and then I'll pull the stick welder out here and we'll just run some uh, 330 seconds 7018. We'll do that on both sides. It's a new day, sun's going down again. Um, I have about an hour and a half of sunlight, so I gotta hurry, I won't monologue as much. But I've got this up, I got it up in the dark last night, you couldn't see very well. It's not the best fit up, there's a little bit of gap, but uh, I gotta get this done. So I'm gonna tack it in place. You can see there's a decent bow there, so I'm gonna have to weld the two ends and then pull that side in tight to get rid of that gap there but I can't do much pulling until we're solid. So I'm gonna weld down here, probably squeeze this into the clamp weld down there and then get the same on this side. This side's a better fit up. Um, and then we'll get it pulled tight. Not gonna talk much after this. I'm just gonna let you guys watch what's going on. This is working terribly. So I'm gonna switch over to inner shield wire where I'm out in the wind. I can't use MIG, short circuit MIG. So I'm gonna switch to some inner shield and see if I can't get that to work better for me. Um, the fitment's just not good enough with these old pieces and I don't have time to uh, change out all the gussets to make them fit better. Um, they're just too old, thin, bent to have a good fit up. So I'm gonna switch to um, inner shield. Fenders are in. I still need to deal with that gap there, but I can do that in a little bit. The gussets, uh, the old gussets don't look very good. They're too thin and rusty, so they burn through a lot, so the welds didn't turn out perfect. The new gusset turned out way better looking. It's thicker material, and it's not uh, rusting and getting thin, but it's getting darker. So before it gets completely dark, I want to step onto this portion of the project. As you can see, that latch has seen better days. And so we have a new one. So I want to get that cut off and get the new one on before it gets dark. Looks pretty good. I needed to get the wire wheel, clean that slag off, and then get a uh, ratchet so I can adjust this to the right tension. So this trailer no longer when it drives down the road. The dual shield really likes to run hot, so that bead actually is really smooth. So. I don't know how long that bad boy will last before it gets broke off, but it's done. I don't know why, but your battery keeps shutting you down. It says battery dead, but it shows 67%. So that's really frustrating. However, the trailer's done by the light of two flood lamps. Um, I pounded a two by four chunk like that two two by four chunks in between the tires and the fender to push that fender over. And it closed up quite nicely. So I ended up just welding all but one foot on either end of that seam. And then that one over there had a little bit of a goofy cut. 
on the fender liner and so I wasn't able to get quite as far to the end. There's about 18 inches from the end that's not welded. But this is done. So we got the fenders on, that new dust that's right here, you can't see it very well. And then that latch on that side to hold the tilt deck down. This latch is still functional. Um, so at any rate, I'm gonna clean all my junk up put all this stuff away and send this trailer on its way um, sorry I don't have the best footage on this video I'll try to do better next time but this trailer is really a, a crunch rush time crunch slash rush so anyways let's get this mess all cleaned up and get you guys out of here and get me out of here